Well, it may be the top of the morning, but who does not want to talk about wine? Right now, I'm joined by Sarah Ashleman from Island Grove Wine Company. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us. All right, so before we get into this beautiful setup and what we have here, tell me about the wine company. Sure, uh, we've been making wine for about 13 years, but we've been farming blueberries for over 35 years. Awesome, so where is it located? Just south of Hawthorne. So 10 miles south of Hawthorne, there's a little bitty town of Island Grove. Um, our farmland that's up here in this part of Florida is actually in Marion County and Putnam and, our, and Alachua. So awesome. all three. Awesome, nice. So. Okay, so like you were saying, you guys farm a lot of blueberries mm -hmm. and everything, but wine, is that new to, to you? So 13 years in the wine business, but what's exciting is people know us for our blueberry wines and some of our fruit wines, but we have a brand new sparkling wine. Yeah, so tell me about that. Sure. I know we were talking earlier about there's a collaboration with UF IFAS, Whole Foods, so tell me all mm -hmm. about it. So Whole Foods approached us and said, can we create a sparkling wine from Florida? And we were like, yes, we'd love to. Um, and at the same time, we started working working with the uh, food science division and the scientists there um, at IFAS. Okay. And so um, Dr. Um, Andrew McIntosh and one of his um, students, Nicholas Windrick, started this project with some Florida wineries. So we have different Florida wines, different bubble amounts, different things, and then they taste tested it to over 2,000 people. Okay, and there we go. Everyone loved it. Yes. So bubbles make it better. <laughs> okay, so basically what they found out through the research is that sparkling wine is really the favorite, the everyone's mm -hmm. favorite. Mm -hmm. If you take a sweet wine and add a little bit of bubble, it's just a home run. Awesome. So, okay, yeah, so tell me about have. them. Yeah, so we have three Moscatos. So we have the strawberry is on the end here, then the blueberry Moscato, then the peach Moscato, okay. and those three can be found here at the Gainesville Whole Foods oh. and Whole Foods throughout Florida. Nice. Okay, so this yeah. is, oh, one more question before we kind of get into the pour and everything. Yeah. So this is a, you know, local company. Mm -hmm. So why is it important, you know, we were talking earlier about, you know, supporting these farmers. Why is it important that people support local? You should know where your food comes from. Yeah. You should have some respect for the different farming operations, uh, whether it's cattle or blueberries, you mm -hmm. know, it could be anything, but so much stuff is grown right here in Florida. Mm -hmm. And so from blueberries to wine, we think it's important for you to know where it comes from. Awesome, so. and yeah, so we're entering, you know, summer. I guess we just entered spring, technically, but as Mike's been telling us, we got some high temperatures going on. So this would be perfect, you know, as we get into these more spring, summer months. So mm -hmm. yeah, you maybe wanna do a little pour. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the peach Moscato. Okay. Look and at that, so we got peach. This is a perfect, you know, for us working people, weekend, weekend <laughs> drink. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, I got some bubbles. Let's see. Look at those bubbles. Awesome. All right. So. Well, hey, it smells amazing, and like I said, the Cheers. weekend is far away, but hey, we'll get there eventually. But thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Yes, we'll have all of this information on our website, wcjb.com, and you can watch back this interview with Sarah. Thank you for being with us. All right, here's Mike with your